Hello everyone. I thought I would make a new introductory video to the channel. The old one was done on a Nokia Lumia 520 cell phone back when I used that for the video recordings that I started out with. This channel will mostly <clears throat> be about using older hardware with newer hardware to save money. This way you can keep your older hardware going longer. My gaming computer right there First generation i7. I'm currently running a 1050 Ti SE from EVGA in it as a uh, upgrade to keep it going. That only cost me $150 extra. I'll be running a test on it where I put in 32 gigabytes of RAM. That should work with it. I'm doing that just to see if it works. Uh, one of the reasons why it's a good idea to use old technology so it does not fill up landfills. It doesn't get destroyed when during the recycling process it doesn't put out too much chemicals because it's still being used. Uh, one of the things I recently bought was a PCI-X uh, SATA 2 8 port gigabyte sorry 8 port RAID card for servers. It should work on any current model PCI slot as long as it's got room in the center for the uh, extension to come out. I'm pretty sure you've seen a video where I made that. <clears throat> uh, I'm turning my old PFSense rig into a backup NAS just to tanker with. I have bought a pair of rails for the Dell PowerEdge 1550 to get it fully operational again. I'll be putting a PCI-X 2 port gigabit NIC in it. Just everything here is old technology or considered old and outdated and yet it still has plenty of life in it. It saves you money in the long run. Except for the power bill. That's if you just because of where I live. I myself currently work at... Eh, I'll explain that in the next video. But it's a great place to work. They help you out. They're very nice. Anyways... Uh, my server runs an old AM3 chip, uh, 965BE. That is my NAS and it holds all my raw footage, all completed files, all completed videos, music, backgrounds, pictures, all that for the YouTube channel. I am currently trying to work with a hard drive reseller to upgrade that to all same size hard drives. And it currently has 8 gigs RAM. I'm going to be upgrading it to 16. Once again, works perfectly fine for NAS storage. I have an old uh, switch, gigabit switch, which you can probably buy off eBay for about 50 bucks nowadays. A lot of this hardware is still plenty of life in it, and yet it's still filling up landfills all because, oh, well, we need to upgrade to the latest and newest thing. I mean, come on, people. The latest and greatest, most people don't have the money for it. Most people just, people like me, I make about $13 an hour, 40 hours a week, and I'm buying all of this with my own cash at the moment, trying to show that, yes, a person with very little money can still achieve plenty if they know where to go to buy stuff. Oh, yes, I do buy new parts. For example, my current PFSense rig is using two one gigabyte sticks of, let's see, is it, I think DDR RAM. I only paid like 11 bucks for that. It's a data. It is very cheap RAM because they don't make it anymore. But it was brand new parts. Uh, I have a water cooler, an AIO, in my gaming rig. It keeps it cool enough where I don't gotta worry, and it's overclocked 4 gigahertz on a Biostar TP55 board. That has a currently a 2 terabyte and a 1 terabyte hard drive in it, with two 240 gigabyte silicon power SSDs. Those are all brand new, mainly so I can keep expanding the storage on my gaming computer, but I'm slowly moving everything to a secondary NAS that I have built. Just anything can be done with hardware, no matter how old it is. Would you rather spend, say, a hundred bucks on a server so that you could have storage at a very cheap price, or would you rather pay 
five, ten grand for something just that's slightly faster and slightly newer. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I seem rantish in this video. I have not done a video like this in a long time. Uh, just that's what my video, my channel is mostly about: using old hardware, showing it still has life, showing the best but cheapest options to go about. Um, I'm pretty sure you've all seen a review of the Eagle Tech keyboard and mouse. I'm only having a slight issue with the mouse. That was easy to fix. It was just getting dirty in the little center where the wheel is. And, uh, well, right now I'm copying everything over to the NAS that I just currently made for the channel. Uh, the next video. Uh, the Xbox 360 video is slightly delayed just because of a transfer. I have also worked on someone's laptop. They have agreed to let me post the work on it as well as showing that it works. I still have to get him a one gigabyte hard drive which I'm going through gohardrive.com to get. No, that is not sponsored yet. I hope to one day get them to sponsor me. Uh, this is a Sansweet TV. You can buy it for about 50 bucks on eBay. 720p, but considering the size you don't really need it at 1080. That Element TV was a Christmas gift. Current value on eBay is about 150 bucks. The hard drive cage, 50 bucks. It can use both 2.5 and 3.5 drives in it, as long as they're SATA. Just seriously, people, would you rather save money, or would you just like to burn a hole in your pocket? All those I suppose say, oh well, I'm going to buy this, this, and this, because they have a lot of money. What they don't realize is that can sometimes cause compatibility issues which cause the hardware to not work. Just this way you can see what new hardware works with old and what you can keep going. My mom's computer is an Intel Core 2 Duo with like 4 gigs RAM and a 10, no not 1050, sorry, a 650 Ti SC using an Arctic Accelero cooler. Puts a lot of uh, weight on that car, but it works for her. Just, I don't know, people. I want to keep making ch uh, videos for the channel. I don't, I've only got 10 subscribers. And, no, I'm not claiming I want more, even though I do. But, I'd rather just stay true to myself, be honest. Uh... If y'all want to see certain videos on certain types of hardware, let me know. I will do my best to get the hardware so that I can do a video on it. Uh, one of the things I want to try to do eventually is get a 1080 Ti SC and see if I can put it in my mom's uh, computer. See how it works. It's a PCI 2.0 slot on there. From what I've heard, they're currently working on the 5th generation of the PCIe slots. Uh... The quad gigabit network port I have in that server, I paid thirty dollars for it. Oh, once again, this channel is more directed at those that just don't have the money to buy the greatest and newest hardware. Uh, Linus does scrapyard wars, and he shows that old hardware still works pretty good, but he doesn't dedicate his channel to it. That's what I want to do: is dedicate my channel to the hardware that can still have plenty of life. Once I get the rails for the... I don't know if I said this already, because nothing I do is scripted. Once I get the rails for the Dell PowerEdge 1550, I will record a video of me getting it set up, installing the rails, and all that. That way, if you decide to get a Dell PowerEdge 1550, you know how to rail mount it. Because I've looked everywhere. There's no guides. So... I guess it comes down to this. If y'all enjoyed my video, press like. If you disliked it, press dislike. I just ask that you please leave a comment. I am the only one doing these videos. I currently do not have any sponsors. And I'm working on that. I mean, 10 subscribers, I'm most likely never going to get a sponsor deal. I don't care. I just know where to go get parts for a good price. 3 terabyte drive, 50 bucks. Or would you rather spend about 100 on a 4 terabyte drive? Whereas you can get two, three terabytes for a total of six terabytes for the same price as the four terabyte. That's two more terabytes. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Once again, same as before. If you like it, press like. If you dislike it, 
just do whatever you want. Uh, and to the people that keep saying, oh, well, you can use our free music. I actually research to post those now, just to make sure I'm not getting hit by some kind of bot or anything, because that's happened once already. So, be careful when you post that kind of stuff, because I will research it, because I might want to use it. And I will give credit where it's due. Anyways, my GoPro hates me right now, so it's almost out of room again. I'm going to be buying a 32 gigabyte memory card for it soon. And I hope y'all have a good day, night, whatever time zone you're in. I just hope I'm doing good. <clears throat> and I'm not seeing it. But I can just have to trust that I know what I'm doing. I'll see y'all later.